Good afternoon, and welcome to Moments with Maureen. As you know, I've been working hard on a very special project, a song for patriots. Sing along if you remember the words to come to New Zealand. I'm feeling rather patriotic, my country's so exotic. We have people from here and there and everywhere. When it comes to what we offer, it's really not a bother. We have everything that you might ever need. We have free things and we're healthy and extraordinarily wealthy. We are smart. You can't fool us. We are a very educated bunch. We are so lucky in that regard. We're always being told how to think critically for ourselves. You know, our school students are so bright that we recently decided to lower the requirements for university entrance. It seemed silly to ask them to prove themselves when we already know how smart they are. And we did something similar with our primary and secondary education a few years ago, too. We redesigned the system to better reflect how all our children are good at everything. Part of our strategy for encouraging brilliance, you see, is to make sure that the children are all given pass marks. That way, they can't fail. Personally, I suspect we don't need assessments at all. It's clear that our children are already exceeding our educational expectations for them. In fact, I've noticed that many, many of our students don't feel the need to attend school very often. They're so ahead of themselves, so gifted and capable, that they can afford a lot of time off to pursue their extracurricular activities. I often find my little Johnny home early from school, and he and his classmates enjoy many days off together, out and about, in the community, he tells me, making the most of their extra time. It brings me great joy to know that our future generations are so well set up to succeed. My Johnny has a bright future ahead of him. Where were we? We have free things and we're healthy and extraordinarily wealthy. We are smart and we have charm and we promise you'll come to no harm. New Zealand, New Zealand. What's that, Johnny dear? How long to cook two minute noodles for? I'm afraid I don't recall. I'll Come and help you in a moment, darling. I really ought to get going, but do join me again next time. Go well. <laughs>